fine tuning, fine tuning, fine tuning, fine tuning. So everyone's been hearing about fine tuning. You go to a YouTube channel or video and they say it's no code. And, but then there ends up being a lot of code. A lot of, um, yeah, this is a, an issue that I found that uh, many people seem to be having. Uh, cause it, it wasn't a simple thing. I say wasn't uh, because I'm hopefully introducing something now that will fix that. So this is, I believe, the first true no-code fine-tuning method for OpenAI uh, that you, anyone, my mother, could do this. Uh, sorry, Mum. So let's get started to no avail. Okay, so it's a little bit janky because it's literally, I'm, I'm still just up until two minutes ago coding it. So, uh, so bear with me, but um, it, it, we're getting there. We're, and I am releasing this for free uh, for now because I, I want to see how it goes. Please don't overload my servers. Um, it's, so it's open source. If anyone actually wants to help with this, that would be amazing. I'm not by any means a coder. Um, I'm just a person that perseveres and uh, so yeah hence I meant a little bit buggy but it works so let's start so there's two parts to uploading your fine-tuning data one is getting your JSON L which is basically JSON list um, information and then this needs to be formatted in a specific way that OpenAI likes and then once once we've got that data we can then upload it to OpenAI and then send it over to fine tuning. So let's start with the JSONL converter. As you may or may not know, uh, a fine tuning prompt consists of a prompt and a completion. That's it. A prompt and a completion. So we could say, for example, what is your name? My name is Alex. And then using my nifty wifty program, just click add prompt. And there we have it, our prompt and completion. And then we can do, where are you from? Obviously this is not a very good data set. This is just an example. I am from London. There we go, you get the point. Uh, I've coded in a couple of um, extra quality of life if you want. So we, we can't duplicate data. If you try and add duplicates, because duplicates the enemy, uh, this entry will duplicate. This is a duplicate. I can't speak. <laughs> this entry is a duplicate and it cannot be added. There we go. Um, if you make a mistake, we can just delete the last line. Easy peasy. Um, and that's it. That, that's how we make our JSON file. So we just then head over to format for upload. By the way, actually, I've made it so you can just upload from, say, Google Sheets. Just have two columns prompt, completion, import it, and then it will import them all here. So format for upload, then it adds the nice little things that we need, and then you just download your JSON file. I've done a lot of tests, as you can see. If you want to try this, uh, I'll put the link in the description, and then we head over to my other page on my website, Prompt Muse, and then we got the Auto AI Fine Tuner. So this, is, this orange link takes you back to where we just came from. So here we've got four sections, one, two, three, four. We've got your API, uploaded files, your fine tunes, and then upload fine tune. I've added a little key describing what uh, different meanings are for, actually we've got these over here. So on the upload fine tunes, you've got this like batch size, learning multiplier, la la la. So I've put easy to understand uh, terminology, what it all is. Um, okay, so let's give this a try. So add your API key. Uh, by the way, this website doesn't store your API key. Uh, it's all front end on the brow on your browser. So as soon as you leave the page or refresh, it's disappeared. Uh, so there's no security risk in that respect. Um, okay, so connect. And we got a little notification saying connected. And we go to uploaded files, and we can see all the files that I've uploaded. I've uploaded JSON L and CSV. We don't want CSV. Um, that was just me testing again. So you can delete that and it should disappear. Uh, so we can just go here to select our namely data eight file that we just created and it's uploaded successfully. 
So then we take the ID number and head over to your fine tunes. Uh, oh no, this is the ones that we I've already uploaded. Um, so we don't need to do anything here actually. Uh, upload fine tune. So give that give it a name, data A. Why not? Uh, that's the uh, ID number that we just took. Then we want DaVinci Epochs. Epochs is basically how many times do you want it to train on this data. So we'll stick with four. But remember, this is like a multiplier. So if it costs 20,000 tokens uh, to train and you do it four epochs, that's 80,000, sorry, my brain, <laughs> 80,000 tokens that you're gonna have to pay for there. Uh, so um, I would like to stipulate, I do, obviously this is free, this is just you speaking directly with the OpenAI website, uh, but I'm not held responsible for any costs that you may run up with them. Just wanna put that out there. Okay, so four epochs, batch size one, learning rate multiplier. These are all fine. I've, I've set them to these defaults because that's normally good. And then create fine tune. And then fine tune success. We should be able to head back to here and we'll have a new one. Uh, eight, seven, oh, there we go, pending. So it normally takes between half an hour and a couple of hours, depending on the amount of data sets and the epochs, etc., that you have set up and plus how busy their servers are which you know they are, have, have been quite busy recently. Once that's done, head over to OpenAI, uh, go to Playground, and then here you'll have your new fine tunes, and you can start talking with it. These will come up with gobbledygook because I gobbledy put in gobbledygook, gobbledygook in, gobbledygook out. What is your name? Oh dear, what's this gonna be? Mr. Barlow down, gobbledygook out. So anyway, this is a project in uh, motion, still active. Um, I think the delete button's not working actually. <laughs> uh, so this isn't the delete button's not working yet. If anyone wants to help me with that, that would be awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, this is free. Uh, I think it's the first one that I found that has all of this combined and it's free to, for you to use, yes. And I am also gonna make a new, or a couple of series on actually how to make a good fine tune, because um, we don't want company group. And I'm also looking into creating kind of like a Google Sheet automation that will make a large data set into the two simple uh, prompts that we need. So that's things to come. So anyway, your feedback would be much desired. Uh, like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and I'll uh, see you soon guys. Uh, right, enjoy the weekend. Alex out.